In the world of in the world of stunting a new line, it's never easy. But as Danielle McGipsy learned, it's always a bit of a thrill. I feel like it's our coming out, which I'm so excited about. It's all about buzz, whether you're rebranding as a modern woman like Ports 1961 or being introduced to Canada like Napoleon Curtis Cosmetics. So they throw parties in hopes us media types will stop by. Oh, I just came back from Beverly Hills. We had a, an event with Vanity Fair magazine and Saks. Tell me, what goes into a launch like today? Well, a lot. Firstly, the first thing you have to have is know that your partnership and your marriage with your retailer is the best. And as far as the Canadian market is concerned, the Bay is the best marriage for Napoleon Purtis. But it's not enough to just work the media. The real prize is the celebrity. Tell me, name drop for a second. Who uses Napoleon Purtis? Paula Abdul, Terry Hatcher, Nicolette Sheridan, Marilyn Dennis, Jeannie Becker. <laughs> I mean, Those are our girls. <laughs> yeah. Darling, are you ready for my close-up? The new ports women. We love a Kristen Dunst. We love a Maggie John Hall. Reese Witherspoon to Molly Sims. It's a good place to be. We're definitely going to try and get more plus on the uh, people from the Bill Festival, but I have to work on that through the publicist in Los Angeles first. Yeah, so I go through them, and then they end up over here. So with any luck, we've got our fingers crossed. And international celebrities means going global. But what's big in one part of the world doesn't always cross over. Ports 1961 is a label that's been rebranded just in, in the last five years and in Asia it's very well known and very recognized but now finally it's available in North America I think that women in Asia are extremely feminine and sometimes women here it's a competitive world um, in the West between men and women and, and a lot of times women are afraid to be as feminine talk to me about the differences between launching in Australia and launching here in Canada are there differences there's definite differences only because Australia is always warmer. <laughs> the other difference is, is basically that sometimes I talk a little bit fast and my accent can be a little bit of a, a hindrance. In every other way, Canada is truly a sister, a sister country to Australia. So how do the companies ultimately count success? Success. More red carpet, of course, of course. Um, more stores, um, more editorials, more credits. Um, actually, I just picked up People magazine. Uh, we, we had two credits in there. That means I'm doing my job. The more credits we get, so it's, it's good. But is Jennifer Aniston's publicist doing a good job? Good question, Dee, because stories keep getting leaked.